Andrew, it's uh, the saying Adelaide is one of the losers of the draw. You've got a horror draw, especially the first eight games. Your thoughts? I think it's an outstanding result for our footy club. Uh, we've got, from a members and supporters point of view, um, you know, our key requests have been met. Um, we've got um, you know, quality opposition, both home and away. Uh, we've got a mix of time slots and, importantly, some of those that were really important to us, retaining Thursday night uh, as a part of our home fixture. Um, a Friday night blockbuster against Geelong. We've got four Saturday nights at home. Uh, it's an increase on last year. Twelve night games across the home and away season, up from four last year, which is fantastic as well. And I think that reflects the, uh, the style of football that the guys played last season. Um, you know, we, we kick off you know, the Anzac Day weekend against Hawthorne on a Friday night at the G. For our Melbourne supporters, it's you know, particularly good. We've got seven games in Victoria, six in Melbourne and three at the MCG. So wonderful for our supporters based over there. So, look, I think it's, um, it's, a, it's a really healthy uh, draw for the supporters of the Adelaide Football Club and certainly supports our commercial platform as well. Um, Is it a draw you deserved, having made the finals last year, by well, playing a lot of good teams twice? Well, I think, I think we all understand how these draws are constructed, right? So uh, if you finish in the top six uh, in the competition, you expect that you're going to play um, more teams from the top half uh, from the year prior. And uh, that's a challenge that we embrace. Uh, it's something that I'd like to face every single season because it means that um, we're finishing in the top six in the competition every year. Um, that's something. That's what we. That's what we're here to do. Um, as a foot club, as a football club, we clearly want to be playing finals footy, which means you're going to be presented with draws where you're playing more teams in the top half of the competition. So, by its very nature, that's what's that's what's presented to you. And uh, I said, it's. A, I think it's a challenge that's going to be embraced by by the players and by the coaching staff. You said you got the key requests you wanted. I guess the bonus is the three games at the MCG as well, which doesn't happen so often. Yeah, well, I'm not sure of when the last time that may have happened. I think it's uh, more than a decade ago that we had three games at the MCG, so that's you know, that's fantastic. Um, uh, said the a Thursday, Friday night fixture at Adelaide Oval, more night games. Um, continuing to host Indigenous Round was also important to us, given how it's been embraced by our supporters. Um, so, yeah, look, we had you know, the vast majority of our requests fulfilled. Uh, and as I said, we completely embrace the challenge um, that's, that's presented in the draw. Um, that's something that every team that finishes in the top six um, has to do and, and we welcome it. It is a challenge though, they're saying your draw is tougher than Port Adelaide had last year, especially in the first eight rounds. Um, a lot of top uh, eight teams from this year, plus, you know, double, obviously Port Adelaide is going to be strong again and Geelong have sort of strengthened their side too, so it's extremely tough. Um, how much is that going to impact on, on maybe the team's results next year? And, and obviously Don Pike, a tough initiation to uh, AFL coaching for him. Well, there's a couple of points. One is, uh, I think it's foolish for us to sit here and try and predict the outcomes of 23 rounds of football. Um, I'm not sure anyone's done that particularly successfully um, sitting in October um, of the year prior to a season. Um, so let's see how that you know, actually plays out. Um, and secondly, look, I, I think Don, again, he's, he's going to embrace the challenge. It's where we're we've got a talented list. Um, we've, we've got a really healthy football program. Uh, we're coming off a, a strong season in which we made significant progress. So you just expect to be presented with this type of challenge. It's what happens when you finish uh, you know, where you did and you know that it's going to throw up fixtures like that from, from time to time, and it has. So. Uh, it also means that in other parts of the fixture there's, um, there's perhaps some, some counterbalance. Um, I think we finish with four games at home in the last six rounds, uh, maybe six or seven at home in the last ten rounds. Uh, so there's, you know, there's balance throughout and this, and this competition will be played over 23 weeks, not the first eight weeks. I'm sure a lot of Crows supporters have looked straight at round eight. Um, obviously Dangerfield's return here. Are you expecting uh, the crowd to jump on board that one? Well, if they select him, I guess that they um, he'll be here. So, uh, look, uh, yeah, it's part of the theatre of football, isn't it? So, I think it'll be a, a fantastic atmosphere out there. Um, I'm sure that they'll welcome him appropriately. 
um, they'll cheer us and support you know us um, vocally, and it'll be a great it'll be a great night out. And obviously on the on a national stage, um, I imagine the the broadcast audience will be pretty significant that night as well. And the Hawthorne game we touched on earlier, obviously this kickoff Anzac round under lights MCG in Melbourne. That's going to be a huge occasion, isn't it? Look, a massive, massive occasion. So to kick off said Anzac round against the Premiers on the MCG on a Friday night, you know, it doesn't get much bigger than that. Uh, so I think it's, yeah, as I said at the outset, I think that there's um, some wonderful you know, wins for us in the fixture and um, I think significant recognition for the improvement that the team's made, um, the style of football that they played throughout 2015. Um, and you know, I think that's certainly a part of it. So. Um, look, it'll be it'll be a really big occasion, and you know, they obviously got over us last time. So the boys will be looking to make amends. What so about the bye in round 23? That's a, uh, after round 23. That's new this year. Do you support that? Yeah. So look, it was uh, it's a bit of a surprise. It's probably the surprise of the of the fixture this year. It was one of the potential remedies that was discussed when um, the you know when I suppose the issue of um, selection of teams was was raised at the um, near the end of last season. Uh, look, yeah, you know, we're fine with it. Um, supportive that it'll certainly ensure that you know, all eight teams will enter the finals on a you know, equal footing. So look, we'll just work it into our planning. Hopefully, it's uh, hopefully it's a strong consideration for us come that time of the year. So you like that idea? Uh, look, let's let's see how it plays out. I think it's uh, it's one of those things that I think you've got to see in practice and just. You know, um, work with the you know, fitness coaching staff to see how that might actually work and evolve um, as you as you near that final game. So uh, again, it was one of a number of you know, ideas that was thrown up to remedy the situation of perhaps not full strength teams being selected in the final round of the competition. Um, you know, I was you know, somewhat surprised it was brought in this year. I thought it might be something for the you know, maybe part of the new broadcast deal in 2017. But you know, look, I, I welcome it. Um, you know, as a as a way of addressing an issue that perhaps a lot of supporters weren't comfortable with. Um, let's see how it plays out. I'm sure it's it'll be a, a move that's put in place and then reviewed, and um, hopefully it's a winner. Were you asked to give feedback on on that, or just sort of blindsided you? No, no, that was uh, you know I think it was a, an innovation of the AFL, so um, it wasn't something that they sought feedback from the clubs on. But uh, you know I think it was an issue of you know. Um, uh, Materiality, I guess, that they wanted to address, and you know they've chosen to do it in this way. And yeah, look, I'm, I'm supportive of it. We'll said, let's just see how it plays out.